Jeepers Jobber here. Gonna be doing an opening of two of these super awesome value boxes. The great value value box. They got sleeves, bo bunch of booster packs, uh, giant Mecha Phantom Beast Draco sack. So you know it's gonna be good. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please post a comment down below. Like, uh, bell me, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think of the video. And on that, let's get cracking. Okay, well, we'll start with this one. Some pretty cool uh, booster packs in there. Normally, these things give us some great luck. I actually have quite a few of these saved up for openings. I drove over to this. You find these over at Target. And I found one of these in a Target. It was about an hour away. And they had them on a sale rack. I don't know if they're just doing some special sale that day or whatever. But... I got them for $12 a piece, eleven ninety five. I think there's what they're marked under. So I couldn't say no, so I bought all of them. So I got quite a few. Remember exactly in total? It's probably like 15. It was a lot of them. <laughs> I was very happy. So hopefully we get some great pulls out of them. And you see the booster packs did uh, Judgment of the Light, Abyss Rising, Lord of the Tokyo Galaxy, uh, Cosmo Blazer, and then uh, Primal Origins. And then we have our nifty pack of sleeves. Oh, come on out. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> like shred them out of there. Okay, now you actually get 70 of these sleeves. Really cool. Joey, Kaiba, and Yugi on them. Nice big old sealed brand new pack of them. And then, last but not least. The Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack. And uh, of course it says this card cannot be used in a duel. But I mean, if you're playing with your friends, it's totally fine. Put this thing on the board. Make the game way more epic anyway. I mean, look at that thing. It's almost the size of like a mini playmat. So we'll move that up there. And then we'll fan out our... Our booster packs, and if we can fan that one out, that one's like almost two Primal Origin packs. They're actually glued together. We'll just open these up then, if they're being stubborn. Great value box, bless our pulls. Scrap Factory. Pretty cool. No foil, though. Come on, Primal Origins. You're being stubborn. You gotta have something good in it. One of these packs will have something good. A rare, and... Oh my gosh, did it ever. Wow, we pulled a Ghost Rare. Oh my gosh. And Ghost Rares, one in a case, maybe? One in 12 booster boxes, you will pull a Ghost Rare. And we just pulled one. That is absolutely incredible. Wow. That is awesome. First edition, too. Right on. Cool. <laughs> what luck. Hey, we're moving to our Judgment of the Light booster pack here. Oh, that right there just made the entire opening. The... The luck that you'd have to have to get one of those out of that pack is just incredible. One in 12 booster boxes will have a ghost rare. And now, no matter how many booster boxes you get, you will get no ghost rares. They have a limited ghost rares and ultimate rares from base booster sets. I don't really know why, but uh, maybe they wanted to make the OTS packs a little bit more exclusive by having ultimate rares. And Ghost Rares, I'm not sure if they've totally eliminated them or not. They might release them in the next Gold Series, perhaps. So, that's always something that they they do have an open open door to do. And moving over to the Lord of the Talkion Galaxy Booster Pack. Yeah, I hope that we can still... Nice, got a Super Rare here. I hope that we can still get uh, Ghost Rares. I like them. 
It might be a little bit difficult for them to make or something. I'm not exactly sure why they decided to eliminate them, but it is something different. And I believe this is a Cosmo Blazer booster pack, or only one of this. Our last booster pack here on our first great value value box. And that was it. So we ended up pulling two hauls, one of them being an epic ghost rare. Of course, you get your 70 sleeves and whatnot. After we're done here, we're going to have 140 sleeves and two giant Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sex. That is really cool. Come on now. Come on out. <laughs> it's being stubborn, folks. Okay. We'll lift it up into the air and see what we can do here. What's going on? <laughs> I got, we got the other one out nice and easy. Not this one. Oh, I see. There was a booster pack that was uh, glued to the top of the... Uh, there's the glue where the pack was. <laughs> <laughs> this pack right here, Primal Origins, just giving us some difficulties today. They really, really tuck in these packs too, my gosh. You really got to dig in there to get them. Judgment of the Light, Best Rising, Lord of the Telcom Galaxy, and Double Primal Origins. And then uh, we have another... 70 sleeves, which makes our grand total of sleeves. 140 so yeah these things are super worth it normally i don't think i added there these things are normally 20 dollars at your target i think it was some fluke thing that i was able to get these for 11.95 so but still for 20 bucks to be able to get uh 70 sleeves a giant card a bunch of booster packs one two three four five six packs that's not too bad it's a little over three dollars a pack and you get a pack of sleeves and all that stuff it's not too shabby not too shabby and it's nice to get a little uh, variety i mean unless you're looking for something specific from a specific set I mean, you just want to get do that buy singles or you get a booster box of that specific set but you don't mind you like to have a little bit of variety and have a little luck Pull your own ghost rare and these are them of course you're not guaranteed one but we ended up getting very very fortunate and pulling ourselves a ghost rare the issue with them is i i'm i don't know if you can really you can really see it or not let's see if we can get like a good like reflection of it but they get kind of like surface scratches on them really easy and that's just from rubbing around in cards you know you're in the middle of a pack and there's other cards and the way the ghost rare is it just that's what happens. So it's a little unfortunate. I, uh, a long time ago, I was opening a set. I don't remember what the ghost rare was, but I had a, I had a complaint from someone that was on eBay that uh, said it wasn't, it wasn't marked as new. And I had it marked as new, and I said it wasn't new. It was used because it had those surface scratches. And <laughs> I just linked him to the video where I pulled it. I was, oh, pulled it with you guys. So yeah, I mean, it's it's mint. It just, it's just what happens. So. That might have been a reason why they discontinued them. I'm not sure. If anyone has any light on that, please feel free to put it down there. I'd love to read it. <laughs> Oof. Gosh. And, oh, nice. Constellar Omega Ultra Rare. Very cool. What a very good card. Nice. Getting a little, uh, little pile of hollows there. And now we're moving to our Abyss Rising booster pack. Three foils out of six packs. That's not bad at all. 50% right now. Or I guess in total afterwards it would be 12. Well, it's not that great. But we still, uh, we are pulling some foils though, so that's good. And this is our last booster pack. And unfortunately, we did not get a foil, but I'm okay with this. I mean, we pulled a Ghost Rare, Ultra, and a Super Rare. Got our two guaranteed Draco Sacks. 
let's put these down here so you guys can uh, check that out. And then we got our two packs of sleeves. Both the packs of sleeves are actually different, which is kind of cool. You got the Joey, Yugi, and Kaiba. And this uh, this was the front. This was, oh gosh, he is a Pendulum Monster, I believe. Came out of a structure deck. I forget his name. But yeah, 70, 70 sleeves, so 140 sleeves in total. Very, very nice. And we got super crazy lucky with the Ghost Rare. And we got a beautiful Ultra Rare and a beautiful Mecha Phantom Beast Super Rare. I'm really, really happy that we uh, ended up pulling so well in this video. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please post a comment down below. Give me a nice little thumbs up and uh, bell me. Subscribe for more. And on that, Jobber here is signing out.